Hello everyone, my name is Sloane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to make a video on how much YouTube has paid me over the last eight months of being monetized. So I started my YouTube channel in August 2021 and I got monetized in June 2022. And in order to get monetized on YouTube, you need to have 1000 subscribers and a certain amount of watch time. I hit my watch time really early and I was just waiting for the subscribers to come in and that happened in June. So it's now March and I'm gonna walk you through every month uh, the different videos that I posted, how well they did, and most importantly, how much YouTube actually paid me for making those videos. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I am a smaller channel. I have around 1500 subscribers right now. And something that's somewhat unique about my channel, I think is that I post pretty sporadically. I'm a data scientist full time. I'm also in grad school for analytics right now. And so I post when I can. I love making YouTube videos. It's so, so much fun for me, but just realistically, I don't have as much time as I would like to dedicate to it right now. And I didn't let that stop me. I post anywhere from one to four times a month, just depending on how busy I am. And it's still been completely possible to grow my channel just by doing that. And I feel like a lot of the common advice that I hear is, oh, you need to be posting like, as much as humanly possible, once a week, two times a week, you need to be consistent. You need to be posting at the same time every week. And of course, that's going to be helpful in making your YouTube channel grow. But I wanted to make this just to encourage those of you out there that if you don't have the time to be doing that, that is completely fine. Even just posting like a couple times a month is better than not starting your YouTube channel at all in my humble opinion. So with that being said, let's get into it. So I started my channel on August 8th, I think, 2021, and my channel became monetized in mid-June. So we're gonna fast forward through all of those videos and we're just gonna start in June. But before I was monetized, I posted about 32 videos. And I think right now I'm sitting at like 53 videos total. So in June, I actually only posted one video and it was an unboxing video. Essentially, I did a plant subscription, a nine month plant subscription of different boxes. And so I opened a new box approximately every month. I sort of squeezed together a few boxes in the end to get more expensive plants. But anyway, I only posted one video and it got... 278 views actually in June. I think I posted it like towards the end of the month, but I had five other videos actually perform better than that one in that month that I was now getting paid for, even though those were posted previous to me actually getting monetized. And those videos were my um, spring 22, 2022 houseplant tour. Houseplant tour videos always do really well. That was my top performing video in June, followed by a plant shopping video. Those also do very well on my channel. And then a how to get rid of thrips on your houseplants, science-based methods, uh, something, something, I don't remember what the title fully is. And that video is a great video. You'll hear that one and my plant tour kind of pop up as top performing videos throughout the months. That's a searchable video. So some videos perform well, like because they're entertaining, kind of like a houseplant shopping video. And then some videos perform well because people are searching for them. And something like getting rid of pests on your houseplants is generally something that people are gonna be searching for. So two different types of content. Um, both are really great for different things. And so my total that YouTube paid me in June, which was really just June 11th, I think was the day that I got monetized through the end of June was $15.20. Getting monetized on YouTube is super fun because up until the point that you're monetized, you're just making videos for free anyway. And so getting paid no matter what it is just feels like a nice little cherry on top, feels exciting. So $15.20 for June. Also in June, I got a total of 5,000 views over the entire month. I wasn't monetized for the entire month, but that's how many views I got. So my sec, what we'll call my second month being monetized, but really my first full month, I posted three videos. My first video was on my soil mix that I use for my houseplant, so kind of an informational video. My second video was a repot with me video. And then my third video was a plant shopping video. The total amount of views I got in July was approximately 6,000 views. And my top performing video was my spring 2022 house plant tour, followed by the plant shopping video that I did post that month, followed by the thrips video, followed by a plant shopping video that I actually posted in January of 2022. It's one of the coolest things about YouTube is like how 
videos that you post will just like continue making you money after months and months after. It's so nice. And the total amount of money that I made in July from YouTube was $42.66. And this was my very first full month being monetized. I was so excited about this, which it, it is exciting. It's worth being so excited about. In August, I posted two videos. The first one is a houseplant terminology vocabulary video that I feel like I could change the title of and maybe it would do better. It didn't do very well. I think right now it doesn't even have 200 views, which is okay, uh, but I was excited to make it. Um, I got a couple really nice comments on it, which I really appreciated. It took me a long time to make, so I really appreciate it. Anyway, I posted that video and then I posted another plant shopping video. And that month I got a total of 4,000 views and my top three performing YouTube videos were again, my houseplant tour, my how to get rid of thrips video, and then the plant shopping video that I posted in August. And in August, I made a total of $29 and 69 cents. And the other thing that I want to kind of point out here about getting paid from YouTube is that there are a lot of different metrics that go into this. Some of which are, you cannot control whatsoever. So we'll get to January, but you will often hear YouTubers talk about how you, you just don't make a lot of money in January on YouTube. And that's because there just aren't as many advertisements going through is my understanding that companies are still kind of figuring out their fiscal budgets, um, in January for the rest of the year. And so just the amount you get paid slows down, no matter if you're posting videos, no matter how many views you get. So it's not really something that you can game or plan on. Some of it is just like you know, what kind of advertisements are going out. And this is also why a lot of YouTubers post a lot in December, because December is actually generally a very good month for getting paid because there's lots of advertisements going out about Christmas. Definitely, you know, you could have a one month where you get 10,000 views and you get paid $10 and another month where you get 10,000 views and you get paid a hundred. It just depends. It also depends a little bit on your niche as well. So finance YouTubers tend to make more on their advertisements than lifestyle YouTubers, for example, which I'll talk about a little bit more towards the end. So in September, I posted two videos. The first one was another unboxing video. And then the second one was another plant shopping video. And I got a total of 5,000 views this month with my top performing video being the how to get rid of thrips video and then my houseplant tour, and then the unboxing video that I posted that month. And my total revenue for that month was $37.99. And so something interesting to note here is that I got a very similar amount of views as I had in the previous month, but made like eight extra dollars. And that's where it's not just about the amount of views that you get. I know that's the main metric that I'm kind of sharing, but it's also about how long your videos are watched, what the click-through rate on the ads shown on your channel are among a ton of other metrics. I could spend a really long time showing you every single metric for every single video. And if you guys really like this video, I can definitely go a little bit more in depth, but I thought for the first one, I would just kind of give you the views per video, but there's so much that goes into the actual algorithm that decides how much money you actually make. So in October, I posted two videos. The first video was a plant chores video and the second video was another plant shopping video. And I got a total of 4,500 views in October. And my top performing video was actually the plant shopping video I posted that month, followed by my spring 2022 houseplant tour, followed by how to get rid of thrips on your house plants. So those are my top three performing videos. And the total amount that I made in October was $40 and four cents. Next we have November. So this is right around the time when the holidays are happening. I'm prepping for finals. I have less time. Like we are all people here posting on YouTube. We all have a finite amount of time. This is where I want to say that if you want to start a YouTube channel, don't let people telling you that you need to post a million times a month scare you off. I only posted one time in November and it was an unboxing video and it wasn't even until the end of the month. So I hadn't posted like it, I barely posted in November. Thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers, by the way, who don't care how much I post. I really appreciate it. And my total amount of views in November, even though I only posted once, was 3,400 because I had, you know, the other 40 plus videos in my backlog that were still being watched. And my top performing video in November was my spring 2022 houseplant tour, 
followed by how to get rid of thrifts on my house plans, followed by the unboxing video that I posted in November. And my total revenue in November, even though I only posted once, was $27.31. So all I did was post one video that was fairly short and made $27. And that's not technically true. Obviously I'm making money off of like the videos that I made over the past year, but it's still really cool that like, if you do need to take some time because of life, it can be totally fine. Take the time, it'll be good. And let me tell you, December is even better. I also only posted one video in December and this video did really, really well for me. And this is another example of like, don't let your mind talk you into not posting something. So the video that I posted in December was a houseplant shop hop, like five plant shops in one day event. And it's an event that actually happened in August. And because of life, because of grad school, everything, I didn't get it fully edited until December. And so I was almost like, ooh, do I really wanna post this? Like, does this make sense? You know, I'm outside, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's like very clearly very sunny and nice out. And I'm posting this in December. Like clearly this happened months and months and months ago. I don't know, is it too late? I didn't let myself sit on that thought for very long because you know, it doesn't really matter on YouTube, but it like, it crossed my mind and I posted it anyway. And I posted it towards the very end of December. I posted it on December 26th and yet in December. So in those like four days or whatever, five days, I got 3,400 views just on that video. It did so well right out the gate. I was so happy about it. It's also a longer video. It's 43 minutes. And I've generally found on my channel that my longer videos, especially if they're plant shopping or a plant tour, tend to do the best, which is not always the case in every niche and every audience. So that's something to think about with your specific channel. Sometimes people will say like, oh, 20 minutes, that's a good amount. It really depends on you know, what kind of video you're making and the kind of people that are watching it. So keep that in mind when you hear advice on YouTube. But I got a total of 6,500 almost, just under views in December. And a huge chunk of that was that five plant shops in one day video. And then my second most viewed video that month was my spring 2022 houseplant tour. It's worth mentioning that one is an entire hour and 12 minutes. And my next most popular video was how to get rid of thrifts on your houseplants, which is like 30 minutes. Okay. So in December, again, keeping in mind, I only posted one video at the very end of December. I made $43 and 93 cents, which is so awesome. I think that's the most I've made in any month on YouTube. And I'm not going to lie that definitely made me very excited. Like you guys just watching that video and really enjoying it. And it definitely gave me a little kick in the butt to make more videos in January. So in January, I posted three longer form videos, and this is also the month that I started posting YouTube shorts. And the YouTube shorts that I was posting were all reposts from either TikTok or my Instagram reels. I didn't put in any extra effort for them. And I feel really weird about that. Like it, I don't know, I don't like it. I feels like, I don't, I don't know, everybody does it. So I don't know why I feel so weird about it, but it just feels lazy, but I'm doing it anyway. And a lot of those have performed pretty well. And I've definitely noticed an uptick in subscribers after posting YouTube shorts. So I highly recommend giving YouTube shorts a try if you're a YouTuber that's kind of smaller like me and you haven't done them yet. But anyway, the longer form videos that I posted in January, the first one I posted on January 2nd and it was buying my mom a plant for Christmas. And then I posted a like just everything video. It was like buying a new plant, unboxing a plant, repotting plants, life updates kind of video. And then at the end of January, I posted a video that I was so, so, so excited about. And it is how much I spent on plants in 2022. That video didn't do as well as I wanted it to, which is okay. I thought it was gonna like fully blow up. I feel like that's always what happens is like you think the video you think is gonna do really well never does. And like some random video is gonna be the one that blows up. I did post, how many YouTube shorts did I post? Uh, I only posted two YouTube shorts, but those YouTube shorts get a lot of views. So both of my shorts got almost 2000 views. So when I give you the total view count, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, but it's because of those shorts. And so I got 10,604 views. 
in January, which I feel like that's another reason that shorts are really great. I haven't posted one in a while, I should. But my two YouTube shorts were my top two performing videos, if that counts. But beyond that, my three highest performing videos in January was a buying my mom a plant for Christmas, my spring 22, 22, 2022 houseplant tour. Like that thing just keeps showing up. I need to film my 2023 houseplant tour followed by my five plant shops in one day video for a total of 10,604 views in January. And even though I posted three videos plus YouTube shorts in January and I only posted one in December, I made less money in January. I made $35 and five cents. And I think part of this is because of what I was talking about earlier that just ad revenue, there isn't as much of it in January. That is why, among a lot of reasons, that's one of the reasons why a lot of YouTubers take a break from posting in January is because they're just not making as much. But anyway, I'm still very happy with that. $35 and five cents. Now we are on to February. So in February, I posted two YouTube videos, like long form ones and two YouTube shorts. And my first video was kind of my first video outside of the houseplant genre, even though I still went plant shopping in the video, so I don't know if that counts, a little bit outside. And it is just a birthday vlog. My birthday was actually in January, but I posted the video in February. It takes me a while to edit things sometimes, guys, and that's also okay. Don't feel like you need to like keep things super, super current. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I need to. You don't need to, Sloan. Anyway, I posted a birthday vlog and then I posted a rare plant shopping video that was also my very first sponsored video ever. And that was so exciting. That was a huge moment for me. I did set a goal for myself kind of in my head. I hadn't talked about this, but I set a goal that I wanted to do my first sponsored video in 2023. And I hit that in February. So I was very excited about that. It was sponsored by Anna Luisa. I'm actually wearing their earrings right now. I wear them all the time. I am not kidding. This is like my workwear staple now. They're so cute. And I guess while I'm talking about it, I do have a code. I'll, I can put link it down below. Um, but this video right now is not sponsored by them. Just the Valentine's Day video was. And then the two YouTube shorts that I posted, um, one of them was actually sponsored by Ana Luisa. And the other one was just another one that, you know, I posted on I think Instagram reels or something and then reposted to YouTube shorts. And my top for her top performing videos in February were actually three of my YouTube shorts. And then followed by that, it was uh, my come rare plant shopping with me Valentine's day video. And then my spring 2022 houseplant tour for a total of 10,000 views in February. But again, a large number of that was actually from my YouTube shorts, which brings me to a total of $30 and 60 cents made in February, which I'm definitely happy with. And this was actually the first month that I started getting paid for YouTube shorts. So if you're curious, uh, the percentage of money that I made from my YouTube shorts was only 29 cents of that $30 and 62 cents. So do with that what you will. <laughs> and so when I'm filming this right now, it is Saturday, March 11th and I have not posted in March yet. And I'm definitely going to post at least one video, maybe two by the end of the month. I would love to post more. I really, 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 really love posting on YouTube and I'm trying to prioritize it, but it's hard when grad school and full-time job are the other things. I'm also planning my wedding. All, it's just a lot, it's just a lot, but I really love posting YouTube videos. There'll be at least one this month, but just to share with you how much I've made this month, I made $3.95 so far, but I make a lot more when I post, which makes a lot of sense. So that's why I haven't made a ton in March. I guess I'll share with you my top videos in March, even though we're not even halfway through. My top video is my spring 2022 houseplant tour, which is almost a year old at this point followed by how to get rid of thrips on houseplants, followed by my rare plant shopping video that I posted in February. So I hope this, oh, I have to tell you the total amount. Oh my gosh, let's add all this up. All right, so my total amount that I've made on YouTube with approximately 1500 subscribers being monetized for eight months is $306.42. And let me tell you, that is $300 that I didn't have before. So I'm definitely very happy with this number. Everyone's YouTube experience is going to be super different. So if you are someone that likes watching these videos, you might watch this and be like, wow, that is 
so different than these other videos that I've been watching. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this was to just add another number out there to help you understand like how much you you might make from your YouTube and the niche that you're posting in really matters like along with all of the other stuff that I was talking about with like how many ads you know the month that you're posting in how much you post the length of your videos a number of other things different niches make different amounts of money the reason for that is that different types of brands that are willing to pay different amounts of things are going to slap their ads on different niches. So finance YouTubers generally make the most amount of money. I'm going to link this example that I found so helpful for just seeing like, you know, how much money can I even make on YouTube? How much money are other people making that are, you know, have a similar amount of subscribers to me? I found this so, so helpful and it's much longer than I can really want to post on this YouTube video, but it'll be linked down below for you to kind of dig into a little bit further if that's something that you're interested in. And I hope if you are wanting to start a houseplant YouTube channel or a YouTube channel in general, and maybe you're a little bit worried about like, oh, I don't know if I can post once a week. Everyone's saying to post once or twice a week and that that's like the key to having a successful YouTube channel. I hope this is an example of like, Yes, of course you want to be posting as much as you can. I have heard people say that, you know, you don't really settle into your YouTube channel until after you've posted 50 videos. And so you want to get through your first 50 as quickly as possible. And while that might be true, I definitely feel like I'm, I've really started to settle in after 50. Do what you can. Don't not make your YouTube channel because you feel like you don't have time to post as much as other people are telling you that you need to. Post as much as you have the ability to and good things will come. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, I can definitely talk more about my strategy with YouTube, plans for YouTube, get more into the nitty gritty of monetization. I found this super fun to make. Obviously I'm a data scientist during the day, getting my master's in analytics. I like numbers. So Hopefully you like this. And if you did, please subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at Sloan's Common Ground as well. Click that like button and it would be really awesome if you sent this to a friend who is thinking about creating their own YouTube channel as well. Get them this info and maybe this will be the kick in the butt they need to get started. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.